everyone, Will here in the Winter Academy on our practice screen, part three of our putting series. Today we're going to go over speed control. So it's a quick tip you can take to the golf course, practice at home if it's uh, available to you. I have a putt, varying length, the shorter it is, the easier it is, and you can work your way back once you start to become comfortable with it. What I've done is I have my hole here and I have a tee set up about a foot, just over a foot beyond that hole. Now the idea of this drill is I want my pace, or I want that ball to finish past the hole, but before the tee. Very simple reasoning for it. If it doesn't get to the hole, it's not gonna go in. And if I start to hit that putt too firmly, I'm gonna increase my chances of a lip out, but I'm also gonna increase my chances of say a three putt if that ball starts to roll three, four, five feet past the hole. So I'm really gonna focus on, on my speed here. Less so concerned with the left to right and the actual aim of the putt. You wanna go through your process, it is important, but we're really looking at our speed. So I'm gonna try and get these balls here to finish between the hole and the tee. If I've done that, I know I can take that to the course my lag putting is going to be better. I'm going to decrease my chances of three putts, but I'm also going to increase my chances of holding some putts out. So here I go here, through my process, target awareness, I got my looks at the hole, and I'm focusing in on my tempo. Negative points for leaving it short. I'm going to learn from that, learn from the length of stroke I just hit, and I'm gonna hit it just a little bit firmer. Learn for myself there, the tempo was better, the length of stroke was better, and that's how we're gonna control our speed. So but I can make those adjustments as I continue doing this drill, hitting more putts at various lengths, and I will take it to the course when I feel ready.